You have to understand something. Da Vinci painted the Sistine Chapel. Was it Da Vinci or Michelangelo? Oh, who the fuck knows? Honestly. And then you had Barker created the Barker Lounger. And now this is my greatest creation of all time. We're, we're doing the Fantasy Star 2 cover art. Do you understand the hubris involved here? This is like... This is uh, the type of arrogance. It's impo this, this cover art is impossible. Do you understand? And here we go. We have the mother brain in the background. The mother brain has gone haywire, by the way. And created this desert landscape. Look at this. The stars come in. Are you kidding me? That's right. We got a little planet back here. I don't know what planet this is. We, we, we don't even know where we are right now. This is so fantasy. And yes, here, here comes the brain. And the brain has these, these tentacles coming off of it. Are those tentacles? Or is this like nebula? I, what is going on here? Is this part of space? What an incredible cover art. We have some type of religious building in the back here. Do you see how that came out? Amazing. I know. I gotta kiss myself. All right. Here's the mother brain, and the mother brain has just demolished everything. You're considered a criminal because of your activities on Moda, and now the mother brain has sent a, a, an army of robots after you. Look at the eye. Did I nail the eye? I nailed the eye! And look at the eye is almost like, it's like dripping. Do you understand? Because it's, it's, it's insane. It's sick. That's what's so great about this cover. The mother brain is sick. And you could tell from the eye, there's something wrong. Any doctor would look at that eye and say, there's something wrong. There's the city right there of Moda. As we put in orange paint that always disappears back into black again, no matter how many layers of orange you use, the city was very difficult to do. You see, this is such a fantastic painting. It's the mother brain overlooking the city, and here are our heroes. This is Rolf right here. And as you see, he comes in, and he basically looks like, I don't know, Eric Clapton on his darkest days of heroin. Yeah. And I gave him this big, like, uh, pompadour hairdo, which I had to eliminate immediately. These, these, this is a portrait, and then I, his lips, he looks like the Joker now. Yes. From 1988. Anyhow, I would work on the faces a little bit, and then I had to get the hell out of here. Then I gave him a gimp arm. Yeah. He's handicapped. You didn't know that? The hero of, of Fantasy Star 2. He's got one arm shorter than the other. Listen, I don't know. I put a constellation in. We have the Maelstrom Desert in the background. This is a couple. This is Rolf, and Rolf's like, he's like an older man, and he's with knee here. And here's one of the creatures that the mother brain created. I'm working on knee's dress here. Very proud of the way the dress came out. I, I did the dress like that. I'm like, I'm done. I'm not touching it anymore. Then we go into the grid, the Sega Genesis grid at the bottom, of course. And, and right, right to the logo, the most impossible logo on planet Moda. And we go right to it. This is extreme arrogance right here. I said, yeah, I'll freehand the logo, no problem. And guess what? I was happy with the result. Oh my God, I need a drink for that logo. Here we go. The background is just wind whipped desert. It's doom land. And here's our hero. He's in this stance. Look at the stance. It's like one shoulders forward. Almost like I have to press on. And knees sitting there and she's looking up at him like, like guide me. You're the man, guide me! I love it. Anyhow, I had to get rid of that ridiculous arm and try to give him something more in proportion. And hopefully I was successful. Anyhow, they're, they're, I, I, I tried to figure this out. Would they just get done fighting this creature? It looks like they hit him over the head and he's like, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, yeah, he's wearing this robe. This is what you're going to wear in the future, by the way, guys. So, you know, there are no uh, dungarees. Here we go. We're working on her face. I'm like, what is going on here? She looks like an alien. I dialed in her eyes a little bit. They're a little big, but you know what? This is Japanese animation, right? Not really. No 
okay? I got my my tenant downstairs speaking, you know. You know, it, it it's a, a phone, not a megaphone, buddy. Anyhow, we're putting in a little forearm work there. He's got legs. I mean, this guy, he's squatting on road flares. Look at these quadriceps. And boots. You got you, you got to have Barbarella boots when you're on a distant planet, right? I, I love it. There's oxygen, everything like this, and fashion boots. I'm in. So anyway, he's got his armor there. You got you got to have armor. You're wearing a robe, basically. You're wearing what the Greeks would wear, a toga. But you have uh, a shoulder armor. Yes, of course. You got to protect the shoulders. Anyhow, here's the gun. He's got this crazy looking gun. You see this thing? We're definitely on a different planet. Do you understand? And the look, the expression on his face, this is what I was trying to capture. The expression on their faces is complete and utter doom. Like, are we gonna make it out of here alive? These are real heroes, guys. I don't know if you realize that. Yes, working on the logo some more. Gotta paint it in because, you know, this yellow paint, you have to go over it a million times for it to actually become opaque. Yes, look at this font. Oh my god, it's so... It's so sci-fi. You understand? It's so out of this world. That's right. This isn't, uh, you know... Sans... Uh, you're not gonna find this in, in your Microsoft Office font. Here we go, we're putting it in. It's gotta be a little chrome, right? You gotta add your whites in there, some Dax. That's right. Fix up his arm a little bit there. Put a little more darkness into the robe. Oh my god, guys. It's a Fantasy Star 2 jacket. I'm in heaven. It's it's my favorite piece I've ever done. Hands down, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. This one was a blast. Gotta step at, uh, take a step like this because that's how human beings walk. They, okay, they got, don't be a burro. Turn around, you know, that I don't have time for this. What a face! What a face! You got to get it back the other way. Don't don't press stop because it's just, you got the whole thing. Yes, stay there. Just, 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 just get it. You don't have to zoom in again. Well, why, why are you so far away? Because you say I gotta take it for, uh, 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 the whole body. No, not that far away. Come on. <laughs> you, well, you didn't say the whole body. One, one more this way. One more. And you're not supposed to show your license plate. 
Oh, I, I know millions of people are gonna show up and try to steal my car. No, not stealing your car, but you know what? What, they're gonna find out how many fucking red light tickets I got? Are you ready? Try to pay attention to the camera, not my ass, all right? If you have one, maybe I will, but. <laughs> like this, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, I'm taking a video. Like this, I'm going like this, you know? Babe, don't try to be cool.